Daddy, make sure. We are live. I want to read the title for What well, do you know? Do you know what the title is? Yeah, it says the elf on the shelf. And then it says. And then you can. Oh. Okay. All right. We ready to roll? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Facebook world. Roxy and I are here tonight. We're obviously celebrating celebrate a big uh, Colts win today. We took down the Cowboys 23 to nothing. I have a lot of friends that are Cowboys fans. To you guys, I'm not sorry. So it is what it is. Love you. Uh, the first time the, the Cowboys have been shut out since 2003, if you're one. And the Patriots have the same quarterback they have now. Uh, they only won 12 to nothing. Today we happened to win 23 to nothing. I feel pretty confident about that getting ready to go into the playoff season. Um, not saying the Colts are going to make the playoffs, but we're definitely hoping so. Anywho, let's get back to why we're here. Rox, why are we here? Because um, we are going to read the Elf on the Shelf. A Christmas Tradition. This is by... Uh, Carol A. No, Carol V. Eversold and Shonda Bell, illustrated by Coe Steinwort. Yep. Daddy does not say and. A Christmas tradition. This right here. You said and right there. And I said a. It's, it's Carol V. Eversold and Shonda A. Bell. Okay. Oh, next. We ready to roll? You mean read it? Yeah. Okay. Give me the book so I can read it then. People are waiting on us. They're waiting on us, girlfriend. No. Oh yeah, they are. No, I was trying to get I see oh. no to that page. Oh gotcha. Okay. The elf on the shelf, you know, many of you know that. We've got our elf sitting up there. What's our elf's name? Laura. Laura. I got her um, some little shoes, like ballet shoes and then a skirt, but for some reason she only has her ballet shoes on and her skirt's gone. She's a little crazy. <laughs> Gotta watch her. Yeah. She's got the best hiding spots though, right? Yeah. Every morning I don't even find her. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, the elf on the shelf, let's roll. It's about bedtime. We got Flint, he's eating his supper. <clears throat> Have you ever wondered how Santa could know if you're naughty or nice each year as you grow? For hundreds of years, it's been a big secret. It now can be shared if you promise to keep it. Whoa. At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report on all that you do. My job's an assignment from Santa himself. I am his helper, a friendly scout elf. The first time I come to the place you call home, you quickly must give me a name of my own. Once you are finished, my mission can start. What will you call me, Markle or Zart? Will it be Fiddle, Criddle, or Clyde? Fisbee's cute too, but you must decide. Each night while you're sleeping to Santa I'll fly to the North Pole right through the dark sky. Of course Christmas magic helps me to be quick. I laugh with my friends and report to Saint Nick. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was laughing with my friends. Getting hit by my family. I tell him if you have been good or been bad. The news of the day makes him happy or sad. A push or a shove, I'll report to the boss, but small acts of kindness will not be a loss. In the car, at the park, or even at school, the word will get out if you broke a rule. You know, I think Laura just saw you hit me. How do you reckon she feels about that? I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> I forgive. I'll be back at your home before you awake, and then you must find the new spot I will take. 
You'll jump out of bed and come running to see. He'll be the first to spy, little old me. Daddy, I found him. Right here. Way up there, isn't he? Yep. Perfect. Maybe the kitchen, the bathroom, or den is where you will find me, your special elf friend. I can hide on a plant, a shelf, or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a game. Let them see. Let them figure it out. There's only one rule that you have to follow, so I will come back and be here tomorrow. Please do not touch me. My magic might go, and Santa won't hear all that I've seen. Or I know. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means he'll lose his magic. Exactly. So and don't touch him. And he can't report to Santa, and you won't get toys. You'll get cold. I agree with that. We'll see what happens tomorrow with Laura going. Anyways, let's keep on moving forward. I won't get to tell him that you've said your prayers or helped bake cookies or cleaned off the stairs. How will he know how good you have been? He might start to think you forgot about him. Mom, I took my pipe but my belly still hurts. <laughs> I can't speak to you, so says Santa Claus. All of us elves have to follow his laws. I listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or some tiny toy dishes? The gleam in my eye, my bright little smile, shows you I'm listening and noting your file. The final decision with Santa now rests. What do you think? Will you get your request? The night before Christmas, my job's at an end. The rest of the year with Santa I'll spend. That's just in my first snap one, isn't it? <laughs> so blow me a kiss and bid me farewell. I'll fly away when I hear Santa's bell. Of course I will miss you, but wait till next year. When the holidays come, I'll again reappear. Hang on. Until then, I wish every girl and each boy a Christmas of peace and a year full of joy. This tradition began for us. When? Circa 014? Yeah, about 2014 probably. You agree with that? 2014? About four years ago. Mm -hmm. She would have been two. You kind of understood, probably. You probably have a fill out big then. We're going to consider it to be 2014. We welcomed our elf by choosing the name. She made his name Laura. But now she's a he. No, now he's a she. Huh? Whatever. All right, you want to tell him anything? You want to tell him anything? Tell him. Don't embarrass us, though. I can do that on my own. Guys, I'm sorry um, my brother Flint couldn't get to um, see you guys um, in um, the reading tonight. He just had to have his dinner. I'm sorry. He hungry. Yeah, he hungry. He real hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, well, we'll see you. Bye. Ta-ta for now, huh? Oh, oh, oh.